Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and we have some extremely exciting news today as we finally got a confirmation on Star Wars Battlefront 2 diving into the Clone Wars era. Now, I am staying a little bit quiet because it is currently 4 a.m. in Australia when I am recording this, so I do need to be a little bit quiet. But yes, you heard me correctly. We are getting the Clone Wars content we've all been requesting. We will be getting new game modes, including a large sandbox mode, which sounds a lot like Conquest. We'll be getting new heroes a new Starfighter mode, new maps, and more, so let's jump straight into it. Obviously, most of us know that EA Play is this weekend, and there would obviously be a segment dedicated for Battlefront 2. Well, Dennis, the lead design director for the game, came out and began talking about the progression overhaul, but little did we know about the absolute bomb he was going to drop. The first thing Dennis had brought up was that there will be a new squad system implemented, helping you stay closer to your friends. This is really awesome, and I hope they do something similar to Battlefield 1, where you could spawn on teammates, because I was literally just saying how good that would be in Battlefront 2. Next up, Dennis mentioned a new game mode based around dogfighting with your hero ships in a new Starfighter based game mode. Now, I don't personally play a lot of Starfighter Assault, but I'm sure those that do will really appreciate this mode, as it basically sounds like heroes vs villains for Starfighters. Now, this is where the bombs started to drop. Dennis then went on to say they would be releasing a new large scale multiplayer sandbox experience focused on capturing command posts and taking out capital ships. So guys, if you ask me, this is definitely sounding a lot like conquest mode from head to toe. Capturing command posts, taking out capital ships, this has to be conquest. I mean, what else can it be, guys? I'm really, really pumped for this as they are finally getting out the fan requested content that we have all been so desperate for and requesting for the past few months. Not only did they give us this, but Dennis went on to say that this year they can confirm they will be dropping more Clone Wars content. We will be getting the planet Geonosis for a new location, which has the potential to be a really awesome looking map. And he also said that it will feature the largest level that we have ever seen in Battlefront. So guys, this map is going to be huge and we surely have to be getting this for Galactic Assault and maybe this new sandbox style mode he mentioned earlier, which I really can't wait to see. Not only did he mention all of this, but he also confirmed which heroes are coming alongside it and we are getting an absolute massive drop. I am super excited to finally confirm this and it's been a long time coming but we are going to be getting Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Grievous, Anakin Skywalker and Count Dooku as playable characters for Battlefront 2. Yes, you heard me right guys. No, you are not dreaming. You don't have to pinch yourself. They are coming and it has now been officially confirmed by Dennis himself. We are getting those heroes that we wanted. Obi-Wan, Grievous, Anakin and Dooku. I'm super excited. You could probably hear it in my voice while I try to stay quiet here. I really, really can't wait to see a possible Clone Wars season. Four new heroes that are highly requested, Geonosis, we're getting new Starfighter modes, what sounds like Conquest mode, and much, much more. And the best part is they said it is coming this summer. So guys, we may not have to wait much longer at all. Hopefully once the solo season is finished, we can dive straight into the Clone Wars action for Battlefront 2. I really hope they don't have a gap in between the seasons, they just roll them one into the other, because I really can't wait to play some Clone Wars content. Grievous and Obi-Wan are going to be maxed out before you know it. So is Anakin and Dooku. I'm just going to straight spam those guys until I get them to max rank. I'm so, so excited. I know I've said that so many times, but it's really, really great to finally get this stuff confirmed. Now guys, if you did not know, a community transmission did also just go out and some really exciting news came with it. Ben Walk confirmed that there will be a roadmap at the end of June. So that's something that's been highly requested in the community. Everybody wants to know what content is coming. So that has now been confirmed to show us the next few months of what we will be getting for Battlefront 2. So guys, that is it for this video. I just wanted to update you quickly all on what Battlefront 2 has been doing. And now that it's confirmed via Dennis at EA Play, this is going to be really, really good moving forward. On top of this, I will have another video releasing very close to this one discussing everything we found out about Respawn's new Star Wars game that was also announced. So be sure to stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button for new Clone Wars content coming. Drop a comment which hero you're looking forward to most because I'm interested to see who you guys are after and be sure to subscribe for all the latest Battlefront 2 news in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you always. The